Hey, how's it going? Uh, Night Door here, Bob. I am making a video response for a relatively new pipe presenter. He had a question about tobacco storage. His name is Arab Pipe Smoker. Um, so, his question was, is it okay to store tins like this inside baggies? Um, uh, here's the question. Is it two, there's two answers to that. It depends if you've opened the tin or if you haven't opened the tin. If you have opened the tin, uh, even stored in the baggie, uh, tin inside of a baggie, it's going to dry out within about a two month period of time, uh, maybe at the outside three months. Uh, you can rehydrate tobacco uh, once it gets dry. Uh, and matter of fact, I'll be making a video later on tonight showing how to rehydrate tobacco. Uh, you know, but if you've opened a tin like this, uh, chances are you know you're going to smoke through it in a, uh, a month or two, three months at the most. I mean, you know, so you won't really have to worry about it going going bad. You know, losing freshness, getting dried up. I mean, you'll smoke it up before that ever happens. Now, if you plan on long-term long-term storage, uh, like you actually want to age your tobacco, you know, uh, then first of all, you do not, do not open the tin, and then you don't need to have it in a baggie. Just, just the tin by itself would be just fine as long as you do not open it leave it sealed just the way you got it from the store or as it came in the mail and this stuff will last you 10 20 30 years or more just sitting like this uh, you know uh, people commonly age uh, tobacco english tobaccos or virginias uh, for long periods of time the uh, the tobacco leaves inside become sweeter over time and uh, the tobacco becomes uh, well better uh, but like I said um, uh, don't open it and you can keep this 10 you know like I said 10 20 30 years or more uh, now second there's another thing that uh, Another topic to deal with is aromatic tobaccos. I have found out recently through my own bad fortune, I had aromatic tobaccos stored. Uh, I had a tin of aromatic uh, not even opened. Uh, it was brand new, had never been opened, it had been stored for a year. and. All this time, I thought it was getting better. I opened it up, and uh, it had lost all flavoring. It was like no flavor, smoking tobacco with no flavor whatsoever. And it was supposed to be an incredibly sweet, aromatic tobacco. And it was just, it was, like I said, tobacco with no flavoring. It was junk. I have recently opened several jars of tobacco that had aromatic tobacco stored in them and found out the same thing. Aromatic tobacco just doesn't store. It loses its flavor, it becomes junk. So if you buy some aromatic tobacco, uh, you know, smoke it right away. Uh, it, it, you know, long term storage does not help aromatic tobacco. As a matter of fact, it hurts aromatic tobacco. Uh, so, um, And if you've, uh, let's say you've, uh, so that covers the question of aromatics. Don't try to store them, okay? Uh, you buy them, open them up, smoke them, enjoy them. You know, you can make it last a, a couple months. Rehydrate it if it gets dry, you know. Uh, but still, two or three months, smoke it up, okay? Uh, don't bother trying to store it you know, uh, for a prolonged period of time. Uh, English or Virginias uh, or Balkans, a Balkan blend uh, in the two in the tin, not opened. 
can last for years. Uh, if you do open it and then and smoke some and then decide you want to store the rest, or let's say you get tobacco in bulk, it comes in bulk. It'll be in, come to you in a baggie instead of uh, in, in the mail in a baggie instead of in a tin, uh, and you want to take out some of it for smoking. You want to store the rest. I'm going to assume you have access to these at your local grocery stores over there where you live. Uh, these are what is normally used for preserving food. Uh, the lid is a two-part lid, a thin metal part with a rubber seal, a gasket. And uh, what you do is you'll take your jar, uh, make sure it's clean, and uh, uh, you put in your tobacco, you know, and this is like if you've gotten bulk tobacco in the mail and you want to set some of it aside for smoking and then store the rest, okay? Uh, you do not want to leave that bulk tobacco sitting around in a bag. Do not do that. Take that, pour it into your jar, your, your canning jar. You put the uh, little metal lid on there, the flat lid. Do not go all the way up to the top. Leave at least an inch from the top, okay? Uh, and you, the uh, uh, tobacco needs some room to expand as it's aging, okay? Uh, then take the screw on lid, you put it over top, crank it down by hand as tight as you can go. That's all you need to do, and you put the date on there that you stick it in there and the name of the tobacco write it on there and stick it somewhere uh, where it's uh, dark and away from the heat and that goes for tins that you're storing okay uh, uh, you don't want them exposed to sunlight and you don't want them exposed to heat I keep my tins in my tobacco cloth in my <laughs> hallway closet uh, it's away from any sunlight and it's uh, away from any heat. And it's a great place to store tobacco. Uh, so, uh, I think I just about covered everything. And uh, if you have any other questions, uh, put a comment on the video. Uh, by the way, uh, tell me your name so I don't have to just refer to you as Air Pipe Smoker. I like to be able to just refer to your name, you know, and I'm Bob, nice to meet you. So, till next time, may all your roads be smooth, chicken house is closed, may your pipe never run empty.